internet! <laughs> hey internet, welcome back to my channel. This is such a weird angle to be filming at, but I just felt like I've, I've done a second run of this. This is like take two, and um, the first run I had the camera standing on my table, which is where I usually film, and it just didn't make any sense. So, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to be filming a slightly different type of video. This is my entire sticker collection, and I use that term very loosely because I do have stickers kind of stored all over the place. I have like different pockets that I use on the daily that I keep on my desk. This I do not keep on my desk because this thing is massive. It is so big. <laughs> um, and then I also have that white folder which I store a lot of um, extra stickers that come from kits that I don't finish off. So this isn't the entire collection but I would say this is like 99% of my collection. So it, it's as close as we're gonna get. Um, and yeah, I thought I would show you guys how I store my stickers. I just feel like I'm in a position where things still need to be tidied up. I think you're going to see that I definitely need to do a little bit more tidying up. But I think it's in a good enough state that I can show you guys how I store them and maybe give you some ideas or inspiration on how you can store yours. So yes, as you can see, I have a lot of stickers. I've been collecting for about five years now um, and cycling through. These stickers are all ones that I've purchased from other shops. I have, this is stored in a very big drawer. I think if you live in Australia, this will look kind of familiar because you can buy these plastic drawers from Bunnings. I think this particular brand is Oats, O-A-T-E-S. Um, and so I am obsessed with these. I use these to store all my makeup. I use them to store snacks. I use them to store all sorts of things. Um, but if I was to redo my entire storage solution, which I may well be because we're doing renovations or about to start renovations in our house. Um, I think I like the Muji drawers better. There's something about it just feels a little bit more calming. So that's just my two cents. But I have a stack of these, about four of them stacked on top of each other. And the bottom one is the one I've taken out here is my personal sticker collection. All the other ones are actually for my sticker shop. They carry inventory and just supplies that I need to run the sticker shop with. Um, but they're formed, they're set up in a very similar way. So in each of these, for the most part you'll see I have these like envelopes, these like accordion style envelopes. So these envelopes I actually picked up from Kmart. They don't exactly look like this. This is what they look like originally when they still have their lids on and you can open them and here are just some stickers from my actual sticker shop. But yeah, it's, it's basically an accordion. You can put labels in front. What I did is I just cut this lid off and then I just put the actual filing in here. And I've probably got maybe 10 or so and I just find it's perfect for storing stickers. Most sticker sheets are about this size. Um, I haven't really, any ones that are too big I kind of put to the side here. But for the most part, this is perfect. This is my most favorite and ideal way because you can just kind of flip through and pick exactly what you want. I've seen a lot of people use plastic sheets um, and other folders and stuff, and I've tried a few of those, but none of them really worked for me. I felt like this one was the best solution for me personally. And so what I've tried to do is go ahead and label them. I don't know if you can see. If I don't block it from you, maybe you'll be able to see. Um, yeah, so I've got each folder or each original pocket kind of has a certain theme to it so I thought I would just go through it. I'm not going to be able to go through every single sticker because we'd be here forever. You can see it isn't exactly the neatest. I have a few sticker sheets just sitting out of folders. In fact I have a lot of sticker sheets that just sit randomly out of folders. Here's like a glam planner kit that I have to use and here's so like a Christmas kit from the Coffee Monster Co. So yeah definitely a lot more tidying up would help. It's going to be interesting with the focus because there's so much depth, but we'll we'll take it a step at a time, see how we go. All right, I'm going to do my best to try and keep things in focus, but I'm really sorry if it goes in and out of focus because I've got the autofocus on and as I work backwards, it's going to try and refocus. So I'm going to start on the first one and then just work my way backwards. These first um, folders all have like the months on them, like January, February, March, April, goes away to December. These are really old stickers. These ones I purchased probably four or five years ago, back when most people were styling their Erin Condren planners based on the Erin Condren colors. I used to love the old colors so much. They were so nice. And so people would release kits or stickers based around those colors. So you can see here actual like, it's all green. It's all very dedicated to that specific month. I don't remember what month that was. July, August, yeah. 
And this is where I've kept all my old stickers because I never use them all up. Now most people just plan however they want, whatever kits they want, whatever works for them, which is great. But I didn't want to throw away these stickers and I still find they come in handy when I say need a specific green sticker. I can pull this one up. But yeah, you can kind of see we've got this. I think this is horizontal. This is from Carolina's Craft. You're going to see a lot of old stores here because, I mean, a lot of stores here that I have don't exist anymore because I bought them so long ago. And then some of them are like very like what stickers used to look like from Carolina's Craft. I'm sure she's changed the design up now. But yeah, there's a lot of different ones that come up. And oh, I remember this one. It's planning time. I loved her stickers. So... Oh. And this is a really old um, Sweet Kawaii design stickers. Gonna make sure I don't block the view. Yeah. So it's like, they're still useful. They don't necessarily fit with any particular kit, but they're still great to have on hand. So as we work our way further back, I've started to try and label the actual stickers like based on type i'd say like you can kind of see i think i literally said label on this one i'd say the first two thirds of the stickers are all categories of stickers so i've got like labels i have um flags activity boxes i've got um yeah flags here i've got some to do's like dots bullet points so they're kind of categorized in that way and then towards the back are more kits that i still need to use so then if we keep going, we've got a lot of drink stickers here. Um, I have a food category here. So we've got lots of food, different like sushis, a lot of sushi, <laughs> some seafood. Um, I have a lot of um, old stickers from Violet Shop when she used to own a sticker shop, which she doesn't anymore. So I like feel sad to use the stickers. I don't want to use them up. Uh, stickers by a Happy Blue Tree. So they're all like McDonald's. Like, they look like McDonald's to me. Um, and then there's like a dessert section as well where I have lots of cupcakes and just, I don't know, I was like really into tracking my food. Lily Pink Prince was an old shop I love so much. She is based out in Sydney, but she, I think it was two people actually, and she closed down about two years ago. So they don't sell these anymore. It really broke my heart because I loved her so much. So I have another section for chores, which is just like um, taking out the trash vacuuming stuff like that um this one is from creating and co which she's a great shop as well there's so many great shops in here i mean i could go on forever sticky planner co i loved her um and then i have one for hobbies hopefully it comes up i have like tv in here because i watch so much tv that sounds sarcastic but i actually do i i have the tv constantly running i just don't ever sit and only watch TV if that makes sense. I'm always doing something else. Uh, I have some nail polish stickers because that's considered a hobby. And then I have a section here for blog and YouTube. And so that's a lot to do. I should probably put like sticker sh running a sticker shop because I, I kind of lump them all in here. So you've got a lot of laptop stickers, um, some crafting stickers on how I create stickers, some washi tapes. Yeah, just a lot of crafty stuff. And then I think the last one here is travel. Which is probably one of my favorite ones which i don't get to use anymore because of everything going on but yeah some like road trips lots of like travel related stickers which yeah good times i have casper stickers in here casper's um one of my cats these were custom made by violet for me and i don't want to use them up because she doesn't make stickers anymore um she did send me the file for it but she, I, I don't know how to cut stickers the way she cuts stickers so <laughs> she's like very good and very on the ball but yeah lots of different travel stickers there as well i feel like it gets a little less interesting you've got icons here some hydration stickers uh check boxes some blank space so kind of these sort of things these like they're good for writing like standout notes maybe it's like a public holiday or a birthday or something you really want to call out and then the last one here is weekend banners I have a lot of weekend banners that I could still pull from if a kit doesn't have it but I feel like most kits have weekend banners okay and then the next section we come into a bit more decorative stickers like just really cute like i love this sticker sheet from i can't actually remember it doesn't happen on here but yeah this particular sticker sheet i adore it's so beautiful lots of different like decorative borders sweet lilac designs so lots of different decorative stickers um i have a section here called half box so a lot of half boxes um 
some washi strips. But yeah, it's a lot of that. This like actual full decorative boxes. I have some banners. I love banners. I love using banners to kind of fill out empty space where you're not really sure what's supposed to go there, but, but it just kind of makes it feel more complete. And then I have a ton of weather stickers. Actually, not as many as I used to have because I got really obsessed with adding weather to every single day. Libby & Co, one of my favorite shops back in the day. Um, yeah, I got really obsessive with labeling weather for each day. And then I decided, you know what? It was really hard to find a shop that labeled every day in the sort of weather theme that I wanted. Like, they're like, a lot, I found a lot of sticker sheets were either rainy, cloudy, sunny, and I'm like, but there's variants. For me, it's like there's showers, which is light rain, and there's heavy rain. So that's why I ended up just making my own weather stickers, and now I pretty much only use my own weather stickers. I'll occasionally use these for other planners because I just want to use them up and I don't want to waste them, but predominantly, if you watch all my videos for the last how many years, I usually just use my weather stickers now. It's just a lot easier for me. Okay, and then... Once we get back here, it, it kind of goes into a bit of a chaos and there's really no rhyme or reason. They're just like bits of kits. So this one is a Happy Planner kit. So I would eventually use this, but I would probably cut cut them down so they fit a little bit better. Not all of these kits, I would say, are like full-blown kits, which is why I haven't used them yet. And they're more like, um, if one week I want to plan, but without a specific kit, I will use this and just theme it around that. When I used to do Plan With Me's, which um, I'd say... If you look back at the plan of me three years ago, what I used to do is I would take, say something like this, and it doesn't have all the stickers I need, but I like the color theme. I would take this, try to color match as close as I can, and make a bunch of my own stickers that I needed. So I would probably make the bottom strip, full full check boxes, labels, everything, and then I would take this plus the stickers I made and build a whole spread out of it. And I stopped doing that because full kits started coming on board, but I still don't know if anyone would be interested to see me just make stickers to complement something like this. I don't know. Let me know if you think that's still something you'd like to see, because I'm happy to do them, but I just felt they were not as relatable, because I don't think everybody can be bothered to make their own stickers for a spread, and I just kind of got the feeling that most people would just want to buy the kits, so it made sense to just focus on buying full kits. But um, we've got some theme stickers back here as well, like Halloween, and I've got some Christmas stickers and washi tapes as well. Or pre-cut washi tape. I love this one. Made by Alicia. Love this. And yeah, in the back here, there's just some really old kits, but these are the kits that I'm currently trying to work my way through. Because um, I think I mentioned in my last couple plan with me's that I'm starting to run low. I've probably got maybe about a month or two worth of uh, kits left. And because I live in Australia, and most of the stores I order from are like international, but especially with everything going on, shipping just takes so much longer. So I'm trying to order as much as I can, just to make sure I have enough kits to last me for the end of the year. I know, first world problems. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Those are pretty much all my stickers. I think it would just take forever if I went into much more detail, so hopefully that's enough detail for you. But yeah, if you want to know anything else, let me know, leave me a comment. I can do a second video to cover something else. I, I just really wasn't sure what to show. It's just like, here's my sticker collection. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching. This is Selena reporting for my room. Back to you, internet. Mm -hmm.